Hello friends, Nick here at Studio. I hope you're doing fantastic today. I'm going to show you a really useful tip today and that's going to be called the event effects in PreSonus Studio One. And in order to apply event effects, we need to open up the inspector window. So we hit F4, we bring up this panel here, or we can hit this little I button on the panel that brings it up as well. And what event effects are, are basically like a one-time use effect. So, and they can only be applied to actual audio events, not media events. So you have to use an audio event like here. So let's listen to what we have here at first. It's just the same clip duplicated twice. <laughs> So let's say we want to make part of this vocal lo-fi. Well, that's really easy with the event effects. What we're going to do is we're going to chop up the vocal where we want to apply the lo-fi effect. So let's say this spot right here is where we want our lo-fi to go down. So this is where we would normally put our effects. This is like the global effect chain for the track here. But if we go down here, you see this event effects under the name of the event that we just clicked on. And you can see uh, the start and end changes with every event that we select. So cool. So if you can't see the event effects enable button, you can bring this up to get a lot more options for your event here. This is useful panel that you might not realize you have here in Studio One. So all you have to do is just drag it up and you bring it up. So you click on this enable button here beside event effects and that gives us another plugin insert area and that is just specific to this event here. So we can apply something that will give us a lo-fi effect. So let's uh, bring in Futz Presti lo-fi. So let's listen. Awesome. So we have just that one section there in lo-fi, which is great. So to recap, this is your global plugin area right here. So if we apply a plugin here, let's say we throw on a phaser. That's going to be going on through the entire track because we have it on the global chain here. Cool. But let's say we want it just on the part before the lo-fi and then the rest of it we don't want any effect well let's just do what we did before so let's just go down here to event effects enable that and then let's just bring in that phaser effect we had So that's the event effects for you. It's a super handy sound design uh, tool that you can use here in Studio One. It makes applying effects uh, to your tracks super simple, super easy. So you don't have to use any automation or anything like that to apply effects in just a specific and particular area of your track. So I hope you found this tip useful. Please like, please subscribe. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.